friends i hope you are doing well so in our last lecture of api automation series we covered the api request components and api response components and we discussed in depth about the components in case you are not familiar on the components of rest api request and response i would request you to please check out my previous video which i'll be sharing in i icon and as part of today's discussion we will try to understand http methods and CRUD operations. So what are HTTP methods? So as we discussed earlier, in order for client to talk to server, we need API and corresponding to each API uh, request, we have an endpoint and that endpoint is mapped to a resource on a server, right? So whenever we want to perform any action or operation on the resource, we need to provide the method type and this method type is nothing, meaning we, we may want to create a booking, we may want to delete the booking, we may want to update the booking. So these are the different operations we may want to perform and how we perform these operations? These are performed using post, get, put, patch, delete, head and options. These are the various HTTP methods which REST APIs uses internally to hit this request, right? So before uh, understanding all of these methods one by one, let me show you. This is the sample application that I am going to use. This particular sample application has multiple endpoints. First one is create token. This is one endpoint to create the token. So token is nothing, but it is similar to credentials. So as like we try to log in into the application and we provide username and password. Similarly, to hit the endpoint, we need to provide the token as well so we need to first generate the token and we need to pass that do token to the rest of the apis right don't worry about it we will soon discuss about what is authorization and authentication right now this is one endpoint then it has create booking to create the booking so this is an application uh, which has multiple endpoints first to create the booking then we can update the entire booking then we can partially update the booking and we can delete the booking we can get the specific booking that we have made and we can get all the bookings right so these are different endpoints right so that this these are what we are going to use as part of current lecture right then we have health check endpoint as well so sometimes what happens is we want to before performing any operation on to the endpoints we generally check whether the application or the endpoint is up and running or not so in that case we have sometimes health check endpoint as well right so this is that health check endpoint. Now let us try to understand one by one, right? So post is to create the resource. So as part of post, we will try to create a booking on this particular endpoint, right? So to create a booking, I'm going to use Postman, right? We won't be discussing how to create the request in Postman. This I'll be covering separately as part of Postman series. But let me show you, these are the different endpoints that I have created, right? But I can show you how we can do it. We need to click on new and then we need to click on HTTP. After that, you need to provide the endpoint. So as we are going to create the booking, so this is the endpoint, right? And we can create the booking using curl as well. This also I'll be um, discussing separately, but we can go by this way as well. So this is the endpoint and this is the method that we need to perform. So to, to create a resource or to create a booking, we can use post. From here, we can choose it. Right. After that, we need body. So hyphen D, this is how it has been defined. So we need to copy this section and we need to go to this body section. And here in this section, uh, by default, it would be none. We need to click on row. And after that, we need to select JSON as we are sending the data in the form of JSON. So this is how a JSON look like, right? It is a JSON object. And this has been finalized in the contract, right? So this is the format we need to send information. So I simply updated first name as Prince, last name as Kumar. Rest of the information is same. So check-in dates are 11-2025 is check-in date and 11-2025 is check-out date, right? So when I will try to hit this send point, so I need to click on send, right? As a result, I will be getting status code and I'll be getting uh, the body. We will soon discussing about the different status codes as part of this series itself right so we will try to understand what does it mean but 2x or 200 is success right so whenever we see green or we get 200 or 2x series these are successful messages so now we have created the booking right so whenever the booking is created a resource is created means uh, we will get some booking id some identifier would be generated by server right now 
let us get this booking right whatever we have booked right so to get it we will be using the same endpoint but at last we need to provide the specific booking id right so for that purpose also i have created this particular endpoint and let us provide this particular booking id that we got from create booking right so we got 1093 and now we can get it so when i will hit this endpoint at this point of time i will get the same response right again i got status code as 200 which is a successful meaning our request is catered successfully right so we got the details of the booking so this is how we can get the details of booking using get endpoint right so we have discussed about post so post to create the resource get to retrieve that particular resource now let us say we want to update this right so to update it as we just discussed that we need to have a token right but before that let me go to update booking so for update booking we need to hit this endpoint and after that we need to specify the id because we want to update the specific resource right so let me go to postman so this is the booking id right which we want to update let me go to update booking so for update booking we will be using put method and let me provide this particular 1093 and now uh, for put booking uh, what we can do let me go here we need the same body but we can update the parameters because we want to update it right so here what i have done is i have made first name as prince one and last name as automation but previously it was uh first name as prince and last name was kumar right so if i for example try to hit this i will get some error because the token i would be using may have expired right so what i can do uh, i can go to create tokens endpoint so for this also i have added a doubt token right added the endpoint i mean so if i'll if you if i show you right so for this the body is admin password one two three and uh, the post request right so if i'll hit it i get this particular token right now let me go to update booking and see how we can pass this particular token so if you will see these are the headers we can pass so to pass authorization we can use either cookie or we can use authorization token right similarly so what we need to do we need to add this cookie as a key right so let me go to update booking section and let me navigate to headers and i will provide uh, one header where cookie would be the key as like specified here and token would be the label and then we need to provide this particular token right so let me update the token value right so now if i will try to hit this endpoint so at this point of time my details should be updated so if you will notice i got the updated first name and last name right this is what we have provided in the body correct now let us try to get this same request using get method to verify whether we got the updated details or not so we got the updated details right okay now what if what if we want to update partial information right so in that case we are going to use this partial update booking endpoint right so it would be again same but here body will differ right so first name last name right so we can either provide first name last name or whatever the attribute that we want to update right so let me go to partial update section so this is the endpoint and let us use the same booking id partial update and we need to provide this particular booking id here right and if i go to body here I will see that I have updated first name as Prince 2 and last name as Automation 2, right? Again, I will need to provide cookie. So let me go to update booking section where we have recently used the same token, right? So let me go to headers and let me copy this and go to partial update section and put this particular cookie here, right? This cookie, I have updated the token. Now, if I will try to hit this endpoint, I should get first name and last name updated so my first name and last name got updated so let us try to get the same using get endpoint right so i will hit this endpoint get so i see my first name and last name are updated so using patch we can partially update and using put the entire body will be updated right or entire resource will be updated now delete is to delete the resource so for example if we want to delete this particular uh, a booking right so for that purpose i have a delete booking endpoint and i will simply replace booking id with my booking id and method is going to be delete right so if, for delete also we would need cookie right let us go to update booking or and let me go to delete booking now and let me update this authentication token right so if i will try to uh, click send 
I see that the resource has been deleted. So we'll get 201 created, but it does mean that it is a successful, right? To verify, let us try to hit the endpoint for this particular specific ID. So we will get not found, meaning the resource has been created, right? That's why we are getting 404. So we will soon discuss about the different HTTP methods, right? Now we have head method as well. So head is same as get, but it is generally used to get the status line and header only, right? And it is useful in cases where we want to validate or check the health of the endpoint to perform uh, the rest of the operations, right? So generally, for example, if I go to this particular site, we have health check endpoint, right? Though it is expecting head uh, get, but we can use head as well, right? So for health also, what I have done, I have added this endpoint. So we can use either get, right? So if I'll hit this, I will get this particular status code. Uh, body this is body section and these are headers but what if i will replace this get with head what will happen let me see the same right so you see we only got the status code and the headers but there is no body right so head is a lightweight version of get where we want to check the status of the uh, server whether it is up and running and is useful and uh, in the cases when we want to check the health and it works like an entry point to perform the rest of the operations then we have options this is used to check but all methods are supported by a particular endpoint so let us say we want to validate that this particular ping endpoint supports which operations so we can simply use options so if i will hit this endpoint so it will say that it supports get as well as head so we can use either get and head that's why we were able to use get and head right so this is the purpose of get at head right now as we just discussed that we can perform different operations so these operations that we discussed are crud operations right so crud stands for create read update and delete so these are the basic operations which we perform on the resources via api right and whatever the methods post as we just discussed to create the resource get to retrieve the resource put to update the resource uh, resource completely and sometimes it can be used to create the resource as well but it all depends on the functionality patch to partially update and delete to delete that resource so here create stand for post right and uh, read stand for um, get and update stand for put and patch and delete stand for delete right so these are the crud operations that we generally use and you may encounter this as a interview question as well what are the crud operations that you use for hitting the endpoints right now Sometimes uh, like we encounter some interview questions as well related to methods. So these are the interview questions and let us try to understand them one by one. Post versus put. So post is used to create the resource and put is used to update the resource. And sometimes what happens is put is used to create the resource as well. So suppose a resource is not, not available. In some cases, put can be used to create a resource, but it all depends on the functionality uh, implemented during the development of these APIs, right? Then sometimes patch and put is also answer, uh, discussed or asked during the interview. What is the difference between patch and put? So patch is to partially update as we just demonstrated and put is to update the entire resource. So in put, we pass the entire body while in patch, we can pass a partial body. Now, sometimes uh, what happens is one more question is asked like why post is not idempotent? idempotent meaning operations when we perform the same operation multiple time at that time we get the same result right so post is not the idempotent why because when we try to use a post operation so at that time a new resource will be created every time we hit a post request we will get a new resource to show you let me come here so if i go to this create booking section if i try to hit this send right i will get one booking id 1394 if i will form again i will get another booking id meaning a new resource is getting created for post so we are not getting the same result every time that's why post is not idempotent right and while if i for example because we got 1430 and if we go to let us say get right as many time we perform let me go to this uh, one i could not copy it properly 1430 and uh, let me go to get and let us provide here so as many times we will hit this get endpoint we will get the same result right there would be any change right every time right so this is our idempotent because we are getting the same response so except post and patch 
all other methods are idempotent because we will get the same response. Patch is also a special case idempotent, right? So, for example, let me tell you why it is a special case. So, for example, we have updated some information, first name and last name. And next time, if we are trying to update first name and last name, same first name and last name, right? And we are keeping the same information. At that point of time, it is going to be idempotent. But if we will change the details, let us say we want to make first name, we, we change the first name as well, last name as well in every request. So in that case, we will get the different response. So we will, uh, at that point of time, we will say that patch is not an idempotent. So let me show you. So this is patch operation, right? So this is 1093 and uh, let me go to body, right? So if I, for example, make it, uh, for example, we already made a uh, prince to automation too. So if I will hit this, I will again get the same response. We have lost the token. Let me generate the token once again. And uh, let me go to this patch once again and uh, let me go to headers and let me update the token, right? And let me hit this. So you see, I'm getting the same response, right? If I will hit it again, I will again get the same response. But if I, for example, change it, right? At that point of time, the response will be changed, right? So that's why patch is a special case uh, idea important, right? So if we are getting uh, the same response, if we are providing the same body every time, then we will, we can say that it is idea important. But if we are changing the body, right? At that time it will become not idea important because we will get a different response so that's why patch is a special case idea important so this is what i wanted to cover guys as part of current lecture thank you for watching and we will soon discuss about more details or or topics on uh, api automation in the next lecture stay tuned for more updates and thank you for watching i would request you to please like share and subscribe thank you once again